You're going to see a lot of this the electoral map right now and how it shakes up for 270. That's the battle. We believe today Hillary Clinton starts at 217. Donald Trump starts at 163. 270 is your marker. Frank Luntz is a pollster and a Fox News contributor live in L.A. today. And Frank, good morning to you and welcome here. I'll show you a scenario in a moment, but I want to share a reaction that I had with Governor Casey yesterday afternoon about the possibility or not of him being a VP. Watch. There's no chance that you're going to be a running mate with Donald oh, Trump. There was never a chance of that. Was never a never, chance. Never, not even a consideration. Not We're a conference. Not even a conversation. No, not any. I mean, a lot of people called and they, you know, they talked to my folks and, you know, I've had people call me, but there was never, ever, ever any consideration. I want you to hold on to that idea, Frank, because you know how important that that state is, right? If you look at our map right now, 270 to 163, if you give Trump, let's say, typical Republican states, Arizona, Georgia, and let's say North Carolina, then you focus on the big three, and that's Florida, and that's Pennsylvania, and that's Ohio. If he does that, he's your president. But if he does not do that, if you take those three critical states away and give them to Hillary Clinton, she is your president with ease. Now, what did you think of Kasich's reaction? Well, you've got to take Ohio. There's not been a Republican in the 20th or 21st century that has won the presidency without winning Ohio. And so no matter what John Kasich says, he's got to be in the mix. And he is such a popular governor that he would swing that state. And it, with Donald Trump, the vice presidential pick truly does matter. Now, I got to challenge your numbers in one way. Mm -hmm. uh, Florida and Arizona, very high percentages of Latino votes. While Trump isn't at the bottom of where he's been among Hispanics and Latinos, he's still not in shape. And that is a tremendous challenge for him. Now, I agree with you about Pennsylvania. Not only do I think it's in play, but I think Trump may even have the advantage there. Tens of thousands of Democrats actually switched their registration to vote for him. But yeah, the two other states that Trump has an outside shot in, which are similar in demographics and uh, economic, socioeconomic status, is Wisconsin and Michigan. Those are the three traditional Democratic states that Donald Trump is putting into play. Conversely, Colorado, Nevada, Arizona, and Florida may be a little bit more difficult for him because of the Latino yeah, situation he's facing right now. If that's oversold on behalf of Democrats or not, you know, especially when you talk about places like Georgia. But this is the, the swath that you're talking about. You talk to a lot of voters, Frank. And, and I wanted to know from Kasich where he thinks the country is right now. Listen to this. I think the country right now is divided. I think the country is, I think many, many people are very fearful about and frustrated by their economic situation. I think they're upset with the fact that politicians have taken care of themselves more than they've done their job. I think they're upset with elites, uh, including those in the media who, you know, have, cert have looked for sound bites and profits over, over substance. I think they're upset with things they see in sports, the things they see in entertainment. Well, that's a long list. I mean, what's he right about and what is he wrong about, Frank? He's right about all of it. And I'm going to give you three statistics to back him up. 49% of Americans now think that the country's best days are behind it. 55% now believe that their children are going to have a worse quality of life than they did. And over 60% believe that the world is going to be less safe over the next 10 years. So whether you're looking at your own situation, your country, or the globe, the American people believe that things getting tougher, not easier. And every time they hear the president or, frankly, Hillary Clinton say that things are so much better today, they look at these people and they wonder, what life are they leading? <laughs> what, what country are they talking about? Frank, thank you.